Right, as you can see from this question, the key word here is describe. And next to describe, it's got this other one, as fully as you can. That's basically indicating you look down to the mark scheme, which has got three marks. So let's have a look at the data. Right, this spatula is increasing, so I'll put a little arrow on here to help me out, and I'll write the word increasing. There's the starting temperature, there's the final temperature, there's the change in temperature. Yet again, we can see that increases to there, then all of a sudden it stays the same. Also, something else to take into account, this starting temperature and final temperature, what do we notice? This is less than that. So this process must be endothermic. Heat is taken in from the surroundings into the reaction. Let's look back at the question. Stay as fully as you can the trend shown. Well, if I just put this next to each other, it may be able to help us figure this out. So if you increase the mass, increase mass, change in temperature also increases. Many students leave that as that, but if you look back up here, when you get to 8 spatulas, nothing else increases 10, 10, 10. So you can put down change in temperature. Remains constant. After 8 spatulas have been added. The question just beneath it, state the type of energy transfer in this reaction, yet again the final temperature is less than the starting temperature, one word answer, endothermic. Right, here's the next question, 1B. Sodium hydrocarbonate is used as baking powder for making cakes. When the cake mixture is baked, sodium hydrocarbonate decomposes. The equations here, good thing on this equation, it's got this word heat. It's also got the state symbols, solid, solid, gas, gas. So gases are being produced and you have to add heat to make this reaction work. The question down here, comes from this bit, the cake mixture rises when baked. So the thing you've got to realise is, is these two bits. You're producing carbon dioxide gas. That will probably get you the marks, but just to make sure, you need to make sure you can remember that gas expands when heated. That will guarantee that one mark. And that's a little bit. The same reaction can be reversed. Hey, up, wait a minute. If you have to add heat to make it go in this direction, if you reverse it, therefore it must produce heat. So let's have a look at the reaction. The same reaction can be reversed to produce sodium hydrogen carbonate. From sodium carbonate, do the reactants need to be heated? Well, no because this way will be exothermic produces heat because this way is endothermic The last bit of question one, calculate, calculate the relative formula mass of sodium hydrogen carbonate is given here. The formula for the molecule and we've been given all the relative atomic masses. What you might need to remember is when you add up all the relative atomic masses of what's present in the molecule, it calculates the relative formula mass. So how many sodiums we got? One. How many hydrogens? One. 
how many carbons? One, but we have three oxygens. So we just add all those together. 23 plus 1 plus 12 plus 3 lots of 16. Using a bit quick of mental maths. And I get the answer. 84. And I'll put that down here. 6, 12, 18. Then plus 3, that'll be 48. Plus 12, that'll be 60. 60 plus 23, 83, plus the 1, 84. Calculate the percentage mass of carbon in sodium hydrogen carbonate. Well, the full mass is 84. How much of this is actually carbon? We've only got one atom of carbon in it, the mass of one atom being 12. So 12 divided by 84, multiply that by 100 to change it into percentage, and you get an answer of 14.29. Right, this is important. Just leave it at two decimal places. You can round up to maybe one decimal place, but please don't round up to 14. 14.29.